Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In our first episode, we introduced you to our characters. We started off our journey with Renault and Dismas the Crusader and Highwayman. And then we recruited Urku, Clint and Aurora to the group and went into our first dungeon. It was actually quite successful. The group seemed to work really well together. It's already, we're seeing the roleplay aspects come into play. These guys are starting to learn about each other and how they work together and uh, really, really start to bond I'm, I'm, I'm liking that a lot i'm hoping you guys have uh, been enjoying the series thus far and yeah we're going to be going into it we did uh, grab a few new classes towards the end of our last episode and we're going to be reading off their backstories uh, at the start of this episode and introducing you to the characters so we can just get a idea of who they are and who we'll be delving into the next dungeon with so hopefully it will go well hopefully all will be okay there won't be too much stress or death or anything like that i really want to try and hope that well just try and make sure our, our people stay happy for these early weeks and try and get some a nice big hearty group going uh all with their own backstories but either way i'll go into the backstories now Okay, so here we have Red the Harlot. Red, or Natalie, worked as a stripper by day and an assassin by night. She loved taking advantage of others, but most importantly, she loved the money. She used it to create a special costume equipped with a fan blade and was widely known for her deeds. She was given the nickname Red and because, one of her, uh, because of one of her most famous assassinations. She became the most famous assassin in five centuries. Then she learned of the darkest dungeon from one of her contracts. She'd been running a little, little low on funds of late, and so she made her way down. That one's a really good one. That one's from Friendly Shep there. Um, really, really good Harlot one. I did actually add a little bit to that one, but I think worked really well for the Harlot. Of course, you can see she is a, a seductress of sorts. Um, next, we have Trell the Revenant. This one was written by Unstable Strafe. At a young age, Trell was taught one thing by the harsh mistress of life. Kill your enemies in brutal fashion before they kill you. He didn't grow up rich, but not necessarily poor either. His parents ran a small and well-respected mercenary force. When his father felt that Trell wasn't tough enough for the job, he cast him into the wilderness with one ta task. Come back alive in a year and a day. Abandoned in a feral woods at the age of 19, Trell spent the first five nights of his sentence crying in a ditch. The days go by in a blur. He learnt to fight, to kill. Soon the surrounding towns wrote about a cryptic um, that killed without mercy. One day he came across a young boy, barely 15, who couldn't even hold a sword up properly. While bloody instinct, instincts cre screamed to kill the boy, a faint part whispered to protect him. Trell sheathed his blade and grabbed the kid's hand in a calm grip. After a year and a day had passed, Trell returned to his home. In a world where Trell was taught to kill, he also learned to protect. Now staring at the dungeon, Trell resolved to protect anyone who had wronged, who was wronged by the estate's curse. Great one there by Unstable Shreve. Of course, my reading butchered it slightly, but <laughs> nevertheless, great backstory there. And then we have... Sabrina the Falconeer. This one was written by me. Left for dead, half buried in the cold, wintry earth. She woke in an unfamiliar forest a few miles from the estate. Having lift off what she could, um, scavenging for kills, she wised up and realised she wasn't going to live long um, alone in these woods. She needed an eye in the sky to spot danger a mile away. The local fauna were mostly hostile, aggressive and diseased, so options for training a pet were slim. She'd experimented with wild dogs, rats, and even snakes, but nothing could be tamed. But one night, while sleeping in the hollowed log she called a home, she was awoken by the familiar caw of a falcon in the trees above her, when the idea hit her. After spending some months building a relationship and feeding the falcon, it was finally ready to come down and join her on her quest. So, three really good backstories for three really, really cool characters. All of these really interesting. Um, whoopsie. Uh, your red gonna be doing a lot of bleeding. I'm gonna have to mess around with some of these abilities here They're a bit strange a bit a bit more out there, but I think we can definitely get something going on here definitely want some tanky folk with us with this one because We really need someone to 
take some heavy hits. I mean, of course, Trill is going to be quite a heavy hitter here. It's going to be really nice. So I think we'll embark on another journey before we uh, before we head this episode off and see what we can get done. So for awards, Librarian only, obviously not going to be the best for us. Um, we could go for this one as well. Houndmaster. Um, ooh, that could be quite nice. 20% trap disarm chance is really good. Extra scouting at lower light is also quite nice. Let's see, what's the rewards for either of these? Money on both. Portraits on both. Um, we'll go for the second one here. I think the Houndmaster's whistle is going to be slightly better. Uh, we'll make sure to switch out our crew here. Um, so we are going to try and make use of all of our new people. So we'll go with... We'll go with our Scarlet in the in the uh, the third slot. I think we're going to go with our Falconeer in the back slot because we have these abilities here. Yeah, I think she's definitely going to go in the back slot. She seems like she's going to be really really interesting. Um, Sabrina here, going to be going to be someone that we have a little bit of difficulty learning, but I think she can really really um, get to get to be a, quite a useful person to have with us. We've actually got an extra bit of damage if we're uh, built in low light as well. Um, it's not hard to visit the brothel for re reasons best less to the question. Okay. Okay, then. Um, I didn't actually check what uh, our revenants was either. Stress the... Oh, yes, we did. Okay. Okay. So, we're good with them too. I think we're going to go with our revenant in our front slot, maybe? Revenant front slot? Um, this, is diff this is a difficult choice. This. So, I think, I think we'll go with... Revenant mainly going to be attacking with this, isn't he? Obliterate. Yeah. Um, debuff target. Transfer all bleed. So if he's bleeding himself, he can transfer bleed. That's nice. Uh, buff self. Less damage received. It gets a, He gives himself a block. That's really good. So he gives himself a block. He reduces incoming damage, but it does uh, actually increase the stress of all of his pie and decrease the damage enemies receive. That's kind of an interesting one. That's probably one that we'll end up using when we're like quite low HP. We'll put him, we'll put him there. Uh, Trell's going to be sitting up front and then Renault is going to help out. Oh no. He, re he refuses to travel with a Revenant. Okay. So we already have some conflict in the group. He will not, a Holy Knight will not travel with this man. As you can see, got a little bit of an evil nature to him and Renault just disagrees as as a, as a knight of the holy crusade he cannot in good faith he cannot in good faith go with Trell them two are going to be not seeing too much of each other so I think we'll take Urku yet again Urku was a really big help last time he's he's got some crazy good skills here we're mainly going to be using his maim just because it does so much damage um, and I think this is going to mix quite nicely because then we have bleed here bleed here. Now, I do realize that the ruins are probably one of the worst places to take bleed into because most things resist bleed. But, the things that we can get bleed on is going to be nice and honestly, these are only our first few crews to go out together, so I think it's worth it. So, we'll head into our provisions. Again, we're going to go with pretty much the same stuff as last time. Eight food. Go with three shovels this time. Because um, we're doing 100% of room battles, we might need to move a little bit further. We'll go with one, 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 and then we'll go with two of them, and two of them, and we'll go with... I'll go with a bit more than eight this time, we'll go with ten. If you might notice as well, my stacks of items actually stack a little higher than they normally do. That is another sort of change that I've got that's going to make the game slightly easier, but not in a massive way. It just means I spend a lot less time managing my inventory, and actually do the enjoyable things like fighting things and adventuring. I don't just spend tons of time trying to think of what's best to swap out and what's best to take and not take. I think, uh, at least I hope that you guys appreciate that change. And it is going to speed up the process a bit considering we are playing on a week-by-week -week basis. It's nice to make a good amount of progress each week, I think. So I've uh, I've set that up. So we'll head into the ruins here and see what we can, uh, see what we can do. Right, Urku up front, Trell behind, Red in the middle, Mysterious, and Sabrina in the back. Right, scouting right off the bat is brilliant here. And thank god I brought that extra shovel, because we've got a shovel check straight away. Got an extra key there, let's have a little look. I am... I am become vengeance. Ooh, what the hell? Uh, that's kind of a weird sentence. <laughs> 
All cultists will feel my mace. Brigands fear my roar. I am outnumbered. Tis true, I am starved and half mad. But as long as I, as long as there is breath in my body, I will press on. I will wreak unbearable agony. Wreak unbearable agony on those who would seek to despoil my great mass. Mens. Mans? Great mans. Hmm. Oh, reading is not my strong suit. Um, and now they come. I douse my torch. I do not fear the darkness. This is my house, and woe to the uninvited. My God. My God. So we can always we can always just get rid of those once we've read them. Right. I do have something that saves them or something a mod. Even so we'll the cold stones get that. Get ourselves that going on. So hopefully we don't get too much stress here. We don't have any stress healing. We actually don't have any healer at all. Which is real risky. Real risky. We don't have any healing whatsoever. So that, that, that's going to be difficult, definitely. But I'm really hoping that we'll, we're okay here. Here, we'll put a bit of herbs in there. So we'll get another key. We've got four keys already. Right, who's got the best trap to Sam here? I'm guessing it's going to be you. Yeah, definitely. Sabrina there with a lovely trap to Sam. A little bit of stress healing. Of course, that's going to be great. And another journal entry here. Our first encounter in this wretched place almost ended in disaster, but the recruit pulled through. Turns out she's some witch, using her broke mirror to conjure some healing magic. Made turret ter turret? Right as rain when he got stabbed by some cultist. Aldwin. That's not Aldwin, is it? Aldwin. Yeah, it is Aldwin. Has taken a liking to her, but I've grown suspicious. Oh, that's a falconeer one, that. Right, well, well, I'm actually going to use an extra torch here to make sure we don't get surprised as we walk in here. Because this build relies on us not getting surprised, really. But they did get surprised. That's very, very nice. Um, so, we can go with this. Or we can try and swap over. So, the way this works, if you, if you have a look, we can swap over like this. It doesn't use our turn. We can swap over whenever we want. Um, and our skills actually change how they work. So this does the same thing each time, but the, the debuff or buff to us is different. So I'm going to go with this one with the le less speed and dodge. And I'm just going to hit the back line there. And a beautiful crit from Sabrina straight off the bat there. By the way, I did give this girl um, the bleedstone that we received from the last quest that we completed. Uh, Red has got her hands on that now, of course, with her bleed being quite important for her. So I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to do this because this is going to buff his crit but also force a guard on us. So I'm going to do that. Also reduces stress nicely as well. Forcing a guard on us is going to be nice. Um, and then, of course, all of these have high bleed resist, 200%. So we're not really going to be able to bleed any of them. Uh, but we'll at least go for a smackdown. This is going to deal between 4 and 8 damage. So we could one-shot him. It's unlikely, though. Yeah, unfortunately, we only dealt a 4 there from Trell. Not the best, but not the worst either. And this guy, 6 to 12, 7 to 14. Do we risk trying to go for the kill? Gonna risk it. No, unfortunate, unfortunate. We, sh we should have gone for the kill. We got to make sure we don't take too much damage here, considering we don't have healers. Okay. We'll take a shot at this guy. In fact, let's just finish off one of these. Another beautiful crit from Sabrina absolutely amazing there absolutely amazing so this time round we'll just throw blades we'll get him taken care of and you are going down two turns you should be dead Mame should get him here and beautiful beautiful so maybe we should have brought a little bit extra food considering we don't really have much healing going on here got another journal entry here the creature fled into the foul shanty town that sits at the city's shadow I cannot allow such a thing to exist, so I set the entirety of the corrupted dwellings ablaze. With nowhere to run, it will surely burn for its sins. My god. My god. Make sure to get rid of these, because we just don't need them. We do have a movement uh, a movement charm here. I don't think we need that, though. Uh, we'll head back up this way. We do, unfortunately, have two room battles to get through here, which is not the best, considering. I really should have brought more food. That would have been a very, very smart idea. With no healing whatsoever. A lot more food would have been a very, very good idea, but I didn't think ahead, so Urku's in a little bit of a rough spot right now. A little bit of a rough spot. And there's our first room battle. Please don't stress me out. Please don't bleed either. Oh. Sadly, a little bit of bleed there. Receiving a bit of stress, and luckily Urku got the dodge there, which is really nice. 
Um, can you bleed? No. These two can bleed. So let's try and apply bleed to one of them early. Activate repost and get a bit of bleed on him. Unfortunately, we are going to take some stress damage here. Um, we'll go for a shot on you. Unfortunately, no crit this time. Sabrina just couldn't quite pull it off. Um, hmm. Now, how much damage does this do? One to one. Uh, it debuffs target, take, receive extra damage. I don't think we need that right now. I think we're going to go for this because it's going to do extra damage versus bleed and knock him back one. Although he did resist the move, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to get rid of this guy's um, bleeding. We should have brought a few more bandages, actually, into here. This isn't great. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we are just going to go and finish this guy off. Make sure... Oh, no. Urku. That is a terrible, terrible time to miss. Oh, my God. Okay. Backline is doing great. Frontline is really struggling. Really struggling quite badly. We're taking some heavy hits here. Another bleed on this guy. Please don't miss. Urku, no. No. Oh, no. This is... This... This mission could very well lead to our first death here. Gonna go for another one, another hit like that on you. Please do it. Oh, thank God, Urku. Thank you for the dodge. Come on, Trell. You can do it. Oh, only four. We need more than four. Another miss. Red, what are you doing? Well, there you go. Finished him off. That was only a room battle as well. Okay, that's that's not that's not good. That is not good. We can't really eat either because if we do. We um we have a good chance that we'll uh, that we'll get a food check and get a ton of stress. Um, we'll take this on you. I think this is reduced stress. I hope it's reduced stress. Oh, thank God! Thirty reduced stress is absolutely amazing for him. Now he only sits at forty-one. Very very nice indeed. He really needed that. He was very very close to the next tick of stress here. Another room battle. Unfortunately. We're going to take some crazy stress damage here. And that stress we removed basically mean added straight back on. And they're hitting us hard. Right, let's see if we can do a little more here. Um, all heroes. Extra. A very, very small stress heal and extra crit for everyone. What's that going to do for us if we switch over? Um, stealth and then crit while stealthed. Um... We could, yeah. Let's 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 just bleed. Oh no, we can't bleed these guys, can we? Not good. Okay, let's just let's just get a strike on you. Um, mm. this is tough. This is tough. I really don't know how best to play this. At least she's got a repost active. Hmm. We could activate a repost here, but we're gonna we're gonna take more stress, and we're already at sixty-four. We can't really use any of his other abilities. It's a shame we have such a bleed-centric build here. Um, we only really had bleed characters, so we can actually use this now. But it is gonna cause blight on us. But I think we need it. Twelve. Okay, that's a big heal, and he resisted the blight. That's great. Okay, it looks like Urku's gonna, unfortunately, yeah. First one already, his resolve has been tested. Urku, he's ferocious. Damn. That's, that's real bad. That's really not good this early on. Urku, you may be going down, buddy. You may be going down. This is, this was not a strong build to go with, was it? Not a strong build to go with at all. Try and take you out. Unfortunately, not quite. We did get that dodge there, though. We're going to have to maim him. 20. You couldn't hit a 20 before, could you, dude? God damn it. And a bit more stress on you. Okay, these... The front two are taking vast majority of the damage, at least. But still. I want to see how this works. So if we debuff you... Does this mean you get two, two goes? Don't smack her, you doofus. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh my god. Stop it, dude. I can't even hit this guy, but I just need to test that out. There you go. Damn. This is bad. We should have brought more bandages, too. Oh, wait. But a victory, nonetheless. Thank the lord. Quest complete. Okay. 
<laughs> yes. I will return. My god, Oku, you scared the life out of me. Holy heck. Short adventure. Incredibly short adventure. But my god, was it a scary one. We're taking on a Beastmaster now. Lovely. I love the Beastmaster. He's such a fun class. Take him on. And uh, we'll have a little look at who we've got left over to take. We've got... Oh, nice. We've got some good classes here. Okay. So... We've got a Forsaken. I really like the Forsaken. We've got another Falconeer. We've got a Burgata. Burgit? I don't know how to pronounce that. Bog Bugger? Whatever they are, he's brilliant. He's one of my favourite classes. He's really, really good. We'll take him. And we will also take an Ocul Occultist. Sorry, an Occultist. We'll take those three. Oh, please, please, sir. Uh, we can get rid of some stress here. Right. Okay, we can start upgrading things now. We need to get some uh, some other things unlocked here. We can start upgrading things and start changing over skills as well, which is really, really nice. Let's definitely allow skills to be upgraded to rank 2. That's going to be really, really nice for us. So, Urku, I think Penance Hall is going to be his absolute gem, to be honest. He's been beaten and whipped all his life, I'm sure. I'm sure um, it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, he he's he's a man that needs a good hearty drink, isn't he? Drink your cares away, my dude. Make it double and keep him coming. I'm not sure if that red text is to do with him being um his reaching his max stress, him being resolved, uh, afflicted, sorry, or if it's to do with something else. I'm really not sure, but that was that was not good for him. Not good for him at all. That 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 minus his accuracy. Yeah, that, I mean, it wasn't the word, just just minus accuracy. is There's definitely worse, but we'll get his stress down. And I think Trell needs some stress relief as well. He's he's definitely a penance man, I think. So I'll put him in the penance hall. And I think everyone else we can leave for now. But them two, short journey, but my God, did they take a beating. Um, our last three guys here, we will um, come up with character stories and introduce those in the next episode, I think. But for now, let's actually go over some of the people we do have and switch over some abilities. So, this guy here, for, for, for sure, you need to unlock both of these. It's expensive, I know, but these skills are so worthwhile on this guy. I love him so much. So, we'll get, we'll get those two. Having a little extra healing is lovely. Um, we're going to go and upgrade her heal. Along with upgrading her sniper shot. Um, we could also upgrade her mark. But for now I'm just going to go with those two. Because they're the main important ones. Uh, for Clint I am going to swap some skills over a little bit here. So while I think uppercut is still pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to swap over to come hither. And I'm going to upgrade everything on this guy. Um, spending a lot of money here. But it's it's all it's all worthwhile. Like, come hither is so good. Uh, I love the fact that it pulls and marks. It's really, really, really nice. Definitely going to be a good one for us there. Uh, and let's have a little look. See, is there anyone else we want to start upgrading some stuff on? So we could upgrade. Um, well, we'll upgrade his uh, his shot, just his range shot for now. Uh, Scarlet, red here. I don't know what's best to upgrade on her. She's she's really strange. I I don't know how to play her best. Um. Hmm. I'm going to upgrade that for now. I'm going to leave everything else. And then our Falcon here, let's upgrade that for now. And leave everything else. And just leave that as it is. Right, guys, I did lie. We're actually going to be doing the backstories for these new characters and going to another run on this episode. I didn't realise I had as much time. I thought we are going to be doing it next episode. But we're going to fit it into this one. We've still got Urku here, drinking away sorrows. Hopefully he can heal up. Aurora's still a little bit stressed, but she's going to be okay. But Trell, he's in the penis hall, taking his beating. Hopefully everyone's going to be alright. That was kind of a crazy first adventure with these guys. So let's get back into the backstory for our new guys. We've got our Burgatier, Rune. And this backstory was written by Friendly Shep. Rune used to be part of a jolly band of warriors. That is until strange things began to happen. Rune began to have nightmares of his comrades dying to some sort of horrid beast. No matter what remedies he tried, he could not get them to stop, and his friends worried for him. 
until one night, while Rune was fitfully sleeping and his friends were sitting around the fire, the great beast from Rune's nightmares ambushed the party, massacring everyone. By the time Rune had woken up from the screams, he was too late. All he saw of the beast were its great big tusks and a golden crown upon its head, until it vanished into the forest. After mourning the loss of his comrades and how he did nothing to stop it, he pulled himself together. He knew how to track beasts, right? Fortunately, the beast was not very careful with its steps and was very easy to track. But after walking for days, he happened upon an old road. He had lost the beast's tracks long uh, before this point, but seeing no other choice, he trudged along the old road, not knowing what awaited him. Great backstory here. Mixes in actually one of the bosses from the game, which is really interesting. And this guy's going to be a really cool class for us because he's got stress healing, he's got normal healing, and he's got a lot of really cool stun based um, things here, like always crit versus stun. So that's going to be really, really interesting to play with. And I'm very much looking forward to, um, to having a bit of fun with this guy. Next up, we've got 666, otherwise known as Sixth. And this one is by Unstable Strafe. 666 didn't remember his birth name. Why would he? After all the years of, in the wild of the weald, he had been a servant who lived on the estate before it fell into ruin. Most of his free time was spent in the once forests and gardens that were now known as the weald. The untamed ferocity of nature had always fascinated him, something that despite man's best effort could never be contained. He began to feel an intimacy with the wild after the estate fell to ruin. He fled to the weald where the flora, uh, flora and fauna protected him, but soon the hag came to 666 with a proposition. Should you agree to protect these lands, I will imbue you with the mark of the wild. He agreed and took to the name 666, the number of the beast. For the next few months, 666 stalked the weald with its fungal inhabitants, until one day when something changed. He wasn't exactly sure what changed, but something had. He no longer felt the desire to serve the hag. At least that's what he thinks his backstory was. He couldn't really remember much about anything that had happened before he left the wheel to set off to cleanse the estate. Another great backstory. I love the way it mixes in another one of the bosses and also really gives him a reason why he has these marks of the wild and he's, he's a sort of a tribal looking guy i really like that backstory a lot next up we have ryan hawthorne the occultist and this one was written by pineapple hawthorne was once a normal man and he spent most of his life at his job being a shoemaker it didn't pay the most but it was enough to feed his wife and newly born child his family were his reason to live, to keep on going and going to work. But one winter, his wife and child had to travel by carriage to the town across country to visit his wife's ill mother. They were only supposed to be gone for three weeks, but four passed and then five, until finally he heard the news. Both had been shot just ten miles out from his village. He was driven to near mental breakdown. He tried everything to get, get them back. Fortune tellers, magicians, priests, he had visited them all to no avail. One day, he decided to take things into his own hands, searching the darkest corners of the town. He found a man willing to give him what he needed, a book possessing the knowledge of the Eldritch. Sacrificing his purity and the rest of his remaining gold, he took the book. Using the, borrow, the borrowed power he had been granted, he let his blood upon the full moon and performed the ritual said to bring them back to life. His arm instantly shriveled up upon finishing the incursion, incantation, but it appeared to no avail, until he heard a whisper in his ear, his wife, and the giggling of his child. It seemed he had only summoned their souls, instead now to give him company. Guided by the voice in his head, the near insane man with the crippled body began his journey to share his powers with others. Great story there. I really like the way that the Eldritch powers got brought into this. Yet again, this guy's going to be great because he is another healer, so hopefully, hopefully we can get some good stuff going on with this, but that's our three so let's build up a team and see if we can have a little bit better of an adventure than last time because that last one we went on that was that was quite that was quite something wasn't it so we'll we'll head we'll head in we'll embark on our adventure and we'll set up a party here so let's bring these guys out and let's have a little look who we want to bring so i think we're going to bring our burgatier i think uh, rune is going to be a great person to have with his healing and stress healing and then if we could maybe bring someone that has the ability to stun I think we'll also bring our occultist in the back line as well, you know. Um, if we take on, if we take on this, see that's a shame that that's only usable from the first two positions. But that's a stun. That'd be really nice to have. But I think we're gonna have to put this guy in back line just as a healer. We'll keep him there, um, and then let's have a little look. See, so we can take, we can take uh, our beastmaster. Although he's he's difficult to play. You've got a, 
you've got to play him in a bit of an odd way. So we'll 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 try this guy out. We'll bring him we'll bring him along. Put him in spot one. And then who are we going to put in our last spot? That's the question. That is the question. Who are we going to put in our last spot here? Um, I think I think Sabrina might be actually really good to come with us. Um, sixth Rune, Ryan and Sabrina maybe. So Sabrina doesn't really have any stunning abilities, so that's a little bit of a shame. Um, I suppose I suppose he has some stun, but we can't really use him in the back line. Let's let's bring Sabrina along. Sabrina knows what she's doing with her uh, her little hawk she's got going on. And let's have a little look what we want to do here. So, actually, because um, because Sixth here knows the wield so well, I think I think we should take him into the wield and see how we uh, see how we get on with that. So let's take our provisions. We need to take a decent amount of food here. So let's take twelve of that. We'll take three shovels, two of those, two of those. I think he's a little bit more of these in here. So I'll take three of those. Take a key, two of them, and we'll take. Let's take a few more torches than we normally do. Let's take fourteen and embark on our adventure. So, something that I want to add to this, um, something that's going to be a pretty regular thing in these episodes from now on, we're going to be having diary entries, again, written by people in my Discord or you guys in the comment section, if you'd like, uh, for different characters and sort of their thoughts and what's been going on. So, Unstable Strafe here has written some diary entries from Dismas. In week one, at the beginning of the first dungeon, Dismas says, These dark corridors, filled with dust and remnants of another time, it's unlike anything I've seen before, yet I still can't shake the feeling that I'm being watched wherever I go. Everyone seems to share this sentiment with me. After his first battle, he wrote, The hell? What the... the skeletons? They came back to life. Impossible. But the others saw them too. At least they didn't die like any... any other man would. Uh, at least they died like any other man would. Perhaps some of my skills will be of use. And the last battle of the dungeon, he wrote, Damn stupid archer, the hell was she thinking? Extinguishing out the torch like that, I could barely see my gun. Muzzle flare, uh, my gun's muzzle flare was so dark. She claimed to have not been the one to snuff it, but she was the one with the torch, right? Either way, going without a light source seems like a bad idea here. Maybe I'll get a drink when this is through. A really good diary entry there by Unstable Strafe. Again, I, I do apologise for my butchering reading skills and... I am a little bit dyslexic, as you might be able to imagine, <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll hopefully get better as we go along. But let's jump into the wield with our crew here. Let's see what we can get. We got some great scouting straight away here, so we're gonna have to complete 100% of room battles. So we're gonna have to go back this way to both of these, which does mean we're gonna go through a corridor uh, battle already, which is a little bit annoying. And as these guys are only level zero, they're all starting with a base of 20 stress. But Sabrina here has a little bit less because she's already a little bit more experienced and knows, knows what she's going up, to, up against, even though this is some unfamiliar territory. So, we've got some guys here. Uh, we're actually going to... I think I'm going to pull this guy forward straight away. And a beautiful crit already. Well done. Well done, Ryan. That's a very, very good crit to get there. So... Here we can do a few different things. I think we're just going to buff ourselves with extra speed and try and take this guy out. Only four damage there, Sabrina, but I don't think that's too bad. And then we can go for a Feral Cut on this guy. And this is where this guy gets really interesting. So Feral Cuts actually has two uses. But instead of using the second use, we can actually do this. Head our back to the pack and stealth so people aren't going to target us. And then on our next turn, we can use a, a more powerful attack to bring ourselves back to the front. So I think here we're just going to go for a Strike. We're in the front line, so we can do that. Uh, and then we actually have the ability to stun while we're here. So let's uh, let's take a stun on this guy here. Nice. And here we go. We use Bird of Prey here. It will um, steal stealth. It'll do extra damage while stealthed and extra accuracy while stealth. So we'll jump in on this guy. And there you go. Seven damage straight on that guy. And we can try and finish him off. Nice one, Sabrina. Sabrina and Sixth working well together. I mean, even though Sixth has been possessed or at least taken by the beast. I think these guys are getting along with him quite nicely. We're actually just going to go for a heal right away here. I think that's going to be best. Um, and we don't need to heal anyone else, I don't think. So let's just... Uh, we actually can't hit the uh, the front line here. So we'll probably... I don't know. We, we, can, we can just hit a body, I guess. There's not really much else to do. Um, and I think we'll try and get a hit on you. There you go. Max the target. That's nice. And we'll get some more feral cuts on this guy. Move him to the back again. And this is kind of the, the process we'll be using as, as this guy. Nice dodge there, guys. Nice dodge there. Sunder might be able to finish him off. And it did. Very well done there, Rune. Very well done indeed. So let's move forward. 
first room battle done, which is really nice to get out of the way with early. It really didn't hurt us too much at all, which is great. Uh, we'll have a little look at this here. Is this bandages, I think? Bandages? Yeah, bandages. Nice one. Get a little bit of gold there. Lovely. And we got our first fungal enemies. These are the guys that sick the roamed around with. Uh, we can actually use this as well. So this, we can basically uh, mark, give give this to one of our fellow teammates, and it, like, it kind of sets them up for their next attack, where they'll gain extra damage, and on their next kill, they'll get a stress reduction and some healing. So that's actually really nice to do if we need to. But I'm going to try and take out this backline as early as we can, and I'm actually going to try and pull this guy forward too. Unfortunately, he resisted. That pull isn't too strong. We'll try and finish off, but no, Sabrina with the miss, unfortunately. Um... So, I think we'll just, um, we'll go with the buff for now, to be honest. Get everyone buffed up for a few rounds. That's actually for two battles. That's really nice. Really nice. Unfortunately, everyone's going for our Bogatia here. But he is, um, he is quite a tanky guy. He can take the damage. He can take the damage, don't worry. We'll try and take this guy out again. Sabrina getting another decent hit. Not really enough, but we'll try and heal this guy up. Unfortunately, only three there. He did resist the bleed, though. Well, um... We'll get another attack on you, and we'll make our way back and set up for another lunge. But yeah, these two are kind of working in tandem with their, their eagle abilities. So I'm actually going to go for another heal here and get everyone just topped up a little bit so they don't get too stressed out. This guy, we're basically going to focus on healing with um, with uh, Ryan here. I think that's going to be best, but he is low already. Wow, he is really low. So we'll try and finish you off. There you go. Sabrina get a little bit of stress healing there from clearing that out. And we'll try and get a big heal here. Yes. 13. That's the maximum heal able. And we'll actually, instead of going forward, we'll actually use this and put this on him. This is going to buff him with a bit of extra damage, but also mean we get a bit of a stress heal and a normal heal on a kill. Which I think, considering how, how much he's getting targeted while he's been marked, is probably going to be a pretty good idea. These two in the back took a bit of blight damage. Um, how much is that going to be? It's going to be... Four damage. I think we can sustain that without having to heal it. Let's just go for another attack there, Sabrina. Nice one. And we'll try and heal you again. Only two this time. And we did, unfortunately, get the bleed. So that's not great. We'll finish you off with our eagle kick. Nice one there. Six. Good hit. And he is really taking a beating right now. So let's um, try and get a kill, shall we? We really need to finish someone off with him. He might actually be on Death Star right now. Yeah, unfortunately, he's on Death Star already. I think we should be fine. Oh, actually, maybe we won't be because there's bleed. Hmm. I didn't even think of that. We might be in a bit of a tough spot right now. We might be in a bit of a tough spot. He might die. <laughs> that would be really bad. Oh, no. We can get a heal on him here. One. One. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's going to die. He's going to die. Oh, thank God. Get that heal going. Oh, my God. That was bad. Okay. That's, that's not going good. That's not gone good. We need to kill this guy with this dude here. What is this? Ryan. I thought I thought you I thought you could do this. There you go. Get the 20% heal there. Oh, I didn't even give me it because I killed him too late. That's bad. That's really bad. Oh my god. This is um This is falling apart quick. Oh, we got another battle straight away as well. Okay. Let's let's reorder. Okay, we are reordered, actually. Okay, we need to be really careful here. Luckily, we got the surprise. So we should be able to get some heals off early. Get some kills off early, maybe, as well. Sabrina, you keep them, you keep them back while we uh, we finish this off, shall we? Okay, I dodged there, unfortunately. Right, heal from two. You can't be healing for two, dude. It's not enough. I need more. Uh, Death Star is going to mean we deal less damage. We take, less, take more stress and all that jazz. It's a bit of shame. But this guy just... He, the people love attacking him right now. Absolutely love it. But Sabrina's getting another hit on. She gets a bit of extra maximum HP and speed there. He's on Death Star again. I think he's going to die, you know. I think he's going to die. Keeps missing on that second one. Right, heal for something more than like two, please. Thank you. Right. Let's, let's get this crap off of him. Shall we? There you go. Try and take this guy out. Okay. We really need to heal this guy up. Let's try and play this a little bit to, um... Try and play this a little bit to get some more healing going, I think. Hey, that's a bit better. Thank you. Okay. 
Let's buff that up going, get a repost going. I'm gonna actually stress heal myself here. This might this might actually kill if he to targets him. Stop targeting my boy! <laughs> no! Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Alright, we can we can do this for a little longer, I think. Seven, that's a bit better. Okay, he's getting back up there. What is it that's marking him? Does he have a skill that marks himself? He doesn't. I just keep getting marked for some reason. Uh, let's just move back. We want to get like one more good heal going. Ah, uh, damn it. Reinforcements. That's not good. Right. Okay, I've got a crit there. That's nice. Okay. Finally, a big heal. Okay. Good, good, good. Right. We can start to kill these guys now. Let's take air out. I'm taking you out. Okay. And feral cuts. We might be able to get both of these with feral cuts, actually. Oh, beautiful. Nice one, sick. Nice one. Right. That's, that's gone a little better, honestly. It's gone a little better, hasn't it? Good, good, good. Right. Let's see. We got extra dodge and less speed. Um, what speed has this guy got? He's got lower than base at the minute. He's got pretty high speed. Uh, I think we're going to give that to him, you know. I, I don't particularly care if he, if he goes last. But having that extra dodge could be really important for us. So let's keep on heading on. There's a map inside. That's really nice. So we know we don't need to go there anymore, which is good. Let's torch up. We have to do this battle. Okay, one of the new enemies here. I've actually got a new pack on with a bunch of new enemies, so that's going to be kind of interesting. And we'll take out this one. Okay, I don't think we need to heal now. Uh, let's try and bring you forward. Ah, uh, everyone's been resisting recently. We'll go for a feral cut and we'll move our way back. We're, everyone's a bit better off now. We're, we're still a little bit high stress on this guy here on our Burgatia rune, but I think we can manage it. Let's get another party heal going. Good, good, good. There you go. Just striking with arrow with this is beautiful. I really like it. Uh, luckily, another dodge there. Um, we'll go for another heal on this guy. There you go. He did bleed, but that's not too bad. And we'll try and finish this guy off the stag. I really love how this looks, by the way. It just looks amazing. It's from um, Koala's Creature Pack, I believe it's called. Something like that. Ko Koala's Monster Pack. Um, let's get rid of some stress, shall we? Do a little bit of stress healing. We really need to be stunning targets and getting some crits. Okay, he's buffed that target. Extra damage. Let's try and feral cut this one. Um, oh, damn. I missed on that one, but there you go. We got it, Sabrina. Coming in clutch. And unfortunately, it's just healing that we can do for now. So let's heal ourselves up. There you go. And let's. We just need to keep reducing stress here. We've only got small stress heals right now. So it's going to be a little difficult to get our stress all the way down. But I think while we have the opportunity, we should. And that is a big crit on sixth there. So that's not good. These guys tend to crit a little more often. So let's get a heal on him. Heal for zero. Good, good, good. Let's get that on you. Another crit. Beautiful. We'll pull our way back. Get everyone else in the front line. Right. Go for a party heal again. I think we need to go for those whenever we can because they're just super valuable. Super duper valuable. Right, is there anything else we want to do with her? Maybe we'll switch over. And, yeah, this is going to be good. We'll, we'll lower its dodge. Uh, we'll heal up you. Only for three, sadly. And we can probably finish you off with a better prayer there. Yeah, the bleed's going to finish him now, I think. Another hit on us there. Ah, oh, I didn't quite finish him there, though. Right, let's finish you. Ah, oh, no! Rune, come on, man. I know you're a bit stressed out. I know you were close to death's door, but you could have at least... Oh, my God. Pull back. Right, everyone's a little weak right now. Let's keep healing this guy. 13, that's that's what we needed. That's what we needed. And you're getting a little low, aren't you? But he's, he's not doing great damage. This guy has 48 protection, so... We can't unfortunately get this guy. What we'll do is we'll buff this guy up. Buff Rune up. Sixth helping, uh, helping Rune get it going there. And... Let's um, let's do this. It's gives a tiny bit of stress healing, but the bigger thing is it gives us higher crit chance with this guy. That's going to be great. A seven heal there. That's lovely. 
I'm gonna take a bit more damage though. We can heal here, but I think we need to just smack this guy about a bit now. One. At least he's not bleeding. Ah, we can't get that guy from there, sadly. Can't get the front one. That is an annoyance, but we have to deal with it, don't we? Good, we'll mark that guy. Not going to do much extra damage to Mark with these characters, but I think it helps nonetheless. Um, I think I'm going to heal here and then try and get his health down with other characters. There you go, six heal. Unfortunately, we got the bleed, but that's not too bad. Okay, so we'll take a Feral Cut. And I think we'll go for another Feral Cut. And we should be able to finish this guy off with, uh, with Rune here. Ah, oh, no, Rune's doing such low damage right now. Um, we'll just guard. This could be bad because it could repost by accident. Good. Ah, right. oh, you heal for zero again. Ryan really... Oh, no, that wasn't good. Did not want that. <laughs> Ryan really isn't, uh, isn't doing the best right now, is he? He's not doing the best. We'll check these. We'll, we, we've got these in town, though, so don't worry about it. Um, I've got a, a mod that auto saves them. So we can head back this way now, finally. Um, a trap straight away. Great stuff. I'll take that. And you've got, got a little bit of bleeding going on. We're doing okay, but not as good as I'd have hoped. Honestly, not as good as I'd have hoped. Right. Let's keep going, though. Keep pushing through. Okay, head up to this room here. Okay, hopefully this will be our last battle. We don't have any bandages to put through here, sadly. We do have the ability to get our way through this, though. Everyone's received a little bit of stress, but I think everyone apart from Rune is actually doing pretty well, to be honest. Um, no one's doing terribly. It's surprising. We've got another battle here, but luckily we got the surprise again. Right. I always want to try and take out the back lines first. Pull, pull into the back. Right, 16, that's what we need. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Beautiful. Come on, Rune. You can do this. Give us some big damage here. Big damage. Seven. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're, them guys have a lot of protection, so I'm not too bothered by that. We are taking some blight, but I think we can think we can withstand. Okay. This guy's not actually got that much health. 19 there for Ryan, so that's not great. We'll um We'll buff this guy up again because we really need to get that stress relief. We'll get our own heal going on. Lovely. And we're just going to keep striking. I am going to switch over to my other version though. Um, because I like the version that gives them gives them a debuff better. So we'll strike him and get him debuffed. Lowers his speed and, and his dodge, which is really nice. And take a little bit of damage on each of these turkeys, but don't worry about it. Right. Try and take you out. If we can try and keep this guy for uh, for Rune to take out, that'd be best. Bring is doing good on these guys. Anyone need a heal particularly? No, I'll just try and drag you forward then, I guess. I'll try and finish you off. I'm going to actually try and finish this guy off with, our, with our Rune. Oh, no. Crit. That's not good. Okay. And he moved back as well. That's really annoying. Oh, my God. That's really annoying. He moved back. Right, let's just do this then. Get a bit of stress healing going. Bit of a bit of a protection buff as well. Okay. Right. Let's try and get some cuts on him. One second. Right. Okay. Get some feral cuts on this guy. Um, I'll get a heal on you. Okay. We're not doing too bad here. We've got a bit of a ragtag group, though, going on, to be honest. Um, I think we have to go for the heal here. It's, it's nice getting a group heal because we're getting a lot of crits from it as well. A lot of crits indeed. Yeah. Good, good, good. Then we'll Feral Cuts this guy. I think we can Feral Cuts him again to take him out. Yeah, good, good, good. Now, there is going to be a body here. Let's... Uh, I want to pull this guy, but I don't think we can without killing him. And I really don't want to kill him on this. Another zero heal. It's not good. Right, take out these bodies. Get these get these out of the way. That's not good. More blight. More mark. That's what's been marking us so much. Good. Get that body out of the way. We need to kill this guy with that burger tier. We need that stress heal. Another bit of bleed on him. I move you back. 
And that should give us a big heal, shouldn't it? Apparently not. I, I, I don't understand how this works. Does it not work if you get it at the last end of battle? Next attack kill. Hmm. Okay, maybe it doesn't count if it's the last kill of combat then. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Right, let's head in. Okay, we've got another stag here. Let's try and take out the stag first. Because he can buff other, th other things here. Um, let's get a stun on him, actually. Oh, I resisted. I didn't realize how high his resist was. It's at 50. That was a bad crit. And he's marked out a cultist as well. This isn't good. This isn't good. Luckily, we get a nice attack on him, though. Okay. Let's get a group heal going on. Everyone uh, keeps critting on the occultist, which is really nice. Um, Ryan needs that, so I'm very happy about that. Luckily, we're doing good damage here. These dogs, they're bad. We got rabies, unfortunately, as well. Rabies is really bad. That's a lot of damage there. Let's heal myself up. Good, good, good. Right. Feral cuts. Pull ourselves back again. We need to set up for another one, another range one. Okay, you're, you're really hurting, aren't you? Really hurting. Oh, and a miss as well. You can't be serious. Can't be serious. I think he's the guy that got rabies, though, isn't he? Or was it our occultist? I'm not sure. Either way, rabies is bad. Got two of our characters marked now. We'll finish you off with a kick. At least Sixth is doing well, but this is his domain. That's the reason he's doing so well. This is this is where he lives. Okay, that's that's really bad. We're taking a lot of bleed. Taking a lot of bleed, and the stress is piling up, and he just keeps missing. He must have rabies. Rabies is an accuracy down. We're going to be hitting Death's Door again here, most likely. Which is a real pain. A real pain. Not happy about that at all. Right. Heal you. Oh my god, thank god for the miss there. Nice one, Rune. Right. Get a group heal again. And keep striking, Sabrina. Just keep striking. Boom. Nice heal. Good, good, good. Got him. Uh, oh, shit. I can't really do much here. I'll get a little bit of damage and mark him. Not going to help too much. We'll try and heal up. Only a heal of five. He's really not pulling the stops out today. Ryan is not feeling it. We'll try and get two cuts on this guy to finish him off. Good, good, good. Okay, good. Right, we actually had a successful battle there. That was that was kind of crazy. We'll return to the Hamlet. Ooh. So, Rune took quite a bit more stress than we were hoping there. Quite a bit more than we were hoping. And I think... Minus five crits versus bleeding isn't actually too bad because he's not very bleed heavy. Extra accuracy on the first round is great. Losing a bit of crit chance there isn't good. Um, and the rest of those aren't too bad. But we're definitely going to be wanting to sort our stress out on rune there. So let's have a little look, shall we? Ooh, we got our new member here. A duchess. Then we'll have a little look here. We have an exorcist. And I think we'll take a leper as well. I'm pretty happy with all of those. Um, and then we'll we'll put our, um, our our rune here, put him in there to pray, I think. There you go. He's going to need a bit of stress relief there. But yes, we'll get onto the backstories of these guys in the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I hope you guys are enjoying the whole idea of this series. It's, it's, it's something that I'm really hoping people get involved with. And yes, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.